Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'll be breaking down the photo mode options in GTA 5 on the PS4. Now, GTA doesn't have a traditional photo mode, but it does have two things you can use. Snapmatic, which is a camera phone, and Rockstar Editor, which is a very long-winded way of taking photos. So I'm gonna take a look at both and give you some tips on using them. Okay, first let's look at Snapmatic. To open Snapmatic, press up on the D-pad, then head to the appropriate icon. Now you're in there, if you use the right stick, that will move where you're looking at. If you use L1, that does depth or field, that, re that relates to focus. Do you want it blurry, do you want it clear? Up on the D-pad gives you a, some different borders to choose from, so you can select a number of different ones here. Down on the D-pad, lets you choose filters. So you again, you've got a few options, much like you would on something like Instagram. If you use the left stick, that is a zoom function for getting into a tighter image or zooming out if you're a little bit too close. R1 is a grid. A grid is good for measuring distances between key elements in the image just to create a nice balance. R2 is focus lock if you hold it and then press the L and R sticks to tilt and rotate the head of your character. R3 is selfie mode, which I'll go into in a moment. X takes the photo and it will save it to your Rockstar collection and then circle exits Snapmatic. Right, I just mentioned selfie mode. So like I said, R3 enters this. Then if you press left on the D-pad, that will play a specific action. But if you don't like the action you're playing, you can press right on the D-pad to cycle the available actions. Not a great selection, but there you go. And if you click in R3, you'll go back to the normal camera. So that's Snapmatic, a basic camera phone, not a great deal you can do with it, but good for selfies predominantly or taking pictures of the environment. Okay, let's look at Rockstar Editor. Right, before we can use Rockstar Editor, we have to record some footage. To do this, press down on the D-pad to bring up options. Then press on the button to start or stop recording. Once you have a recording, you can pause the game and then go to Rockstar Editor tab and enter. Okay, so this is a pretty long-winded section, but here we go. Firstly, you need to create a new project and add your recorded clip to that project. Then you want to view the timeline and press X to edit. Okay, so here we are in the clip. Now, R2 plays the clip. So find the part of the video that you want to photograph. Once you've found that moment, press X. This will add a marker to the moment so that you can find it at any time. So options, we've got cameras. Okay, so the first option lets you adjust the camera. So we need to use the free camera and move it around to find the right spot. There are also presets here. If you do want to click through those, I would recommend it. You can use L1 and R1 here to crane the camera up and down. Craning is good for changing your perspective from a low to a high area and you can use L2 and R2 to zoom in and out if you wanna make an adjustment. Then there's depth of field, right? So you've sorted the camera, now use the depth of field option. Here you can alter focus, intensity, the mode and the focus distance. So basically the focus distance is where the focus will begin. And then the focus intensity will dictate how much of that space from there goes in focus. So it might just be a person standing somewhere. You might just want them in focus and everything else blurry. So you choose the right intensity. Or you might want everything in focus. So you just gotta play around with these settings until you find what you're looking for. Then we have effects like filters, intensity, saturation, contrast, and brightness. Again, use these to find that right look for your shot. You can also press R3 if you wanna to toggle the HUD and then square button tapes a snapmatic shot of what you're looking at. And these can be found in the menu, although it does take a bit of time to get to them. And that's pretty much it. A very long-winded and painful way to take photos in a game, but it is what it is. In terms of a VP guide verdict, I'd probably give it a six out of 10. As all the options, they're not very user-friendly and they don't really take into consideration people who wanna take photos. They're kind of begrudgingly put in there. Okay, so finally, let's just have a little look at some videos that I created in Rockstar Editor because the one thing about Rockstar Editor that is very good is you can use it to test out your cinematography skills. So, but 
I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. What I would recommend is, do an action sequence in the game that you record, and then to edit it, the best thing I can say is you don't want to have one fixed camera angle for too long. So it's for like finding all the angles of the moments in a sequence that creates a nice visual narrative. So it's like cinematography essentially is photography in cinema. So it's like when people film a film, Framing a film shot is essentially like framing a photograph. So think of cinematography and photography as an interlinked process. So think about how you would want your video to look one moment at a time. Then you frame each bit with different shots, put markers down, and then you can watch it like some of these. Right, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope that video was useful. For now, this is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.